Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Thank you guys for tuning in. Guys, I still cannot believe that I made shirts. Like, quality is phenomenal. I have been just wearing the hell out of it. I love how comfortable it is. Huge shout out to you guys that have copped. I believe we are out of size small and white. We no longer have size small and black and we're out of size medium and black. Other than that, we have some extra larges, we have large and we have medium in white. So if you guys haven't copped, check out the website. Link is gonna be in the description below, but enough of that. You guys already can see it is awesome. All right guys, so this mod is gonna be probably one of the stupidest mods, but what? would my channel be without some dumb mods? So I've been wanting to do this for a while. I say that with every single mod, but I swear to God, I contemplated this and I was like, ah, do I want to do it? Yeah, and then I finally decided to pull the trigger because it's very simple. And a lot of you guys might not like it. And a lot of you guys might think it's dope because it might kind of fit with the theme of my car. But the main thing is hopefully I think it's really cool because I really do want to do it. You guys are thinking that, oh, there's so much that you've already done to the car. What else can you possibly do, right? So there's only two more pieces that I need for exterior. And then from there, I can go ahead and do a little performance, couple things. Let's go ahead and get started. No more talking. I don't think I've ever showed you guys this. This is my little cabinet. It's got a lot of my essentials, got my paints, a couple other little goodies, um, some oil. So what we're gonna be installing is this. It may not look like anything, but it's actually a chandelier. You guys heard it, it's a chandelier. So we're gonna go ahead and install this inside. So we're working on interior today. How fucking sick is it that I'm gonna have a chandelier in my car? It's so, so extra. But I went ahead and got started with the magnets. So if you guys can see, I put two magnets right there. They're stuck on and I have two magnets right here. This is the back side of it. And you can go ahead and wire this in, but I don't really want to deal with that because I just don't. But I have an idea that may potentially make it look kind of cool. So I just want to go ahead and start on this while I have a little bit of daylight left and then I can worry about getting it lit up and everything. So right now we're going to assemble this, but I'm going to show you guys how the magnets work. These magnets are kind of like the ones that you would play with in high school. Well, I used to have these kind of magnets and play with them. So I line them perfectly. It should go on just like this. Sturdy AF, not moving anywhere. So that's the coolest thing about this. I can remove it whenever I want. So it's not like a driving hazard. I can literally just put that on for shows or just when I want to set the mood, eat some dinner in the back seat. But it comes unassembled. So I haven't even looked at these yet. These are all the pieces that we're going to use. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's see what we have here. Got some instructions. You guys know me, eh? Play everything by ear. Okay, so everything seems to be zip tied. Oh, I'm assuming this is the middle piece. Has to be the middle piece, it's like a big old ball. Ah. So it comes with two lots of these, two lots of these, and one of this. So, go ahead and figure this out. I'm gonna probably pull up a picture and use it as reference and then go from there, but they just hook through right here. All of these smaller pieces go on the outer side, so let's go ahead and start with that and work our way up. I've only gotten through the outer. That took forever. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all this done before the sun goes down, but fuck it, challenge accepted. As you can see, I failed. It got dark, <laughs> but I have a very good excuse. So I did finish, check it out. That looks so sick, right? So the reason why I took so long is, if you guys can see, it goes shortest to longest. I went ahead and did these square prismatic looking ones first. I moved on to that and I thought that there wasn't gonna be enough. I just assumed the worst and everything. So I took some of the longer ones and put it 
in the second column. And then my dumbass found an unopened bag that I forgot about and it had all of the other shorter ones. So I had to go ahead, take out all the long ones that I put in the wrong spots and the ones that I spaced out and had to redo the whole thing. <laughs> well, you live and you learn. So now you guys know. So this is the coolest part because all I have to do is literally just put it up there. Oh my God, this is so sick. Maybe I should find a way to plug this up, but I had an idea and I think I wanna drill a hole right here so I can use the dome light and have it shine through. I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out, but dude, this is bougie as hell. <laughs> so the coolest part about it being magnetic is that I could take it off whenever I want. So that means when I'm driving, it won't be a hazard, which is really good. I might full send and just drive like this anyways. This is sick. Instead of wiring it, I think I'm going to stick to my original plan, guys, and that is to drill some holes. This is where the bulb would go, and I was thinking I could drill holes around here, and the dome light will come through, and maybe it'll shine enough light to be able to get it kind of sparkly, but you never know until you try, so let's get it. All right guys, so the dome light isn't bright enough to make it look nice or even noticeable at all. So I went ahead and ordered this remote controlled, battery operated, submersible LED dome light, probably like about an inch and you can put it underwater. It kind of looks like those fake candles, but it's like super strong, way stronger than that. It's not even a candle, it's just, boop, just a straight beam of light. I'll be able to operate it from my driver's seat. I guess I'm gonna end the vlog here for now. I will see you guys in the next clip when I get it from Amazon and I will show you guys the install. So I'll see you guys then. All right guys, it is currently the next day and Amazon kind of screwed me over on this one. I went ahead and bought 12 of these little candle lights right here. They're pretty freaking bright, but I opted out for the one with the controller. So that means this is remote controlled as well as battery powered and the controller doesn't work for any of them. So basically the way you would turn this on is just twist it and it turns on. This is pretty much it. This is how bright it is, but like that sucks. I wanted to be able to control it from my driver's seat, but what can you do, you know? I'm just gonna go ahead and twist it on every single time I wanna use it. But what I was thinking was, Getting the chandelier. So the bulb goes right here. I have some adhesive that I can stick to the back right here and just kind of pop it on right there. Can't even notice it. Fire. All right, so let's try this again. Let's close the door. What do you guys think? It honestly probably looks a lot better at night, but just wanted to show you guys during the day. I freaking have a chandelier in my car. If that isn't bougie, I don't know what is. So now that the chandelier is done, we are going to put some resistors in my taillights because the front turn signals that I installed recently, hyperblink. If you guys don't know what hyperblinking is, it's when you use your turn signal and it just blinks really fast and it's pretty much like an error. So I think my system thinks that there's no bulb there or it's like a foreign bulb or it's not like the proper specs. It doesn't hyperblink when I put the hazards on, but when I actually use the turn signal, check it out. Hyperblinks there, hyperblinks there. And last but not least, the hyperblinks over here. A follower of mine, his name is Jimmy. He was so kind enough to send me resistors and some T-taps. So I'm gonna go ahead and install those. Thank you again, Jimmy. You are the best. He actually had some extras lying around because he bought blue bulbs for his turn signals. He hit me up and he was like, hey, do yours hyperblink? And I was like, yeah, I'm probably gonna do it in the future. And he was like, I'll send you some if you really wanna do it, I have extras. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll pay you for shipping. And dude just ships it to me the very next day. It got here and I wanted to pay him for shipping and he didn't wanna take my money. So shout out to you, Jimmy. Thank you so much. If you guys wanna check out his car, it is so sick. His whole build progress is on his Instagram. You check oh. it right here and give him a follow. So I already have these taken out. <sighs> he told me that you would install it here so i'm gonna tap into this this is the tail light and it needs two resistors here same on this side it needs two resistors so i'm gonna go ahead and get that done and hopefully it works 
All right, guys, it's kind of messy, but I've only done one side. Basically, it needs two resistors. You need it on this yellow and green wire and a black. So basically, one resistor will go T-tap onto black and T-tap onto green. Another resistor will be the exact same thing. So all you need is two. I don't really know why, but that's pretty much it. So check this out. I only did one side. Left side hyper blinks. Right side normal blinks. Fuck yeah, I'm so hyped, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other side, and we'll check it out. Two hours later. Damn it. I think I lost the last T-tap that I needed. Fuck. Got all three of these in, I just need this last one. Well, now I gotta go pick some up, but it's probably gonna be dark by the time I get back, so that'll be perfect because you guys can see the chandelier and you guys can see the blinkers work. So I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, just made it back. Just finished every single thing. Everything's working. I went ahead and mounted on the resistors and I'm gonna show you guys. So here you go. Everything is all done. You can just use double-sided 3M and mount them because the resistors do get really hot and you don't want them dangling around. So I went ahead and mounted them right there. Same with the other side, I mounted it there too. And once you're done, you just put everything back. Yeah. Fucking finally, dude. I didn't mind the hyperblink, don't get me wrong, but I used to have it on the Beamer and I didn't want it to transfer over to this car. I wanted to make sure I did everything right for this build and everything works. Thank you, Jimmy. Huge shout out to you for sending these to me. They are awesome. And if you guys ever want to change your bulbs, just go ahead and buy some resistors online, Amazon, eBay, wherever, and make sure you just splice them or T-tap into the taillight. And that's pretty much it. You guys have got to see the chandelier at night. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Damn, dude, the light helps so much and brings it way more life. Give you guys a more front view. Oh my God, that looks freaking awesome. Tell me that doesn't look awesome, guys. That looks so good by itself, but then check this out. Bam! I can't believe I have a chandelier in my damn car. I feel like I'm in the Titanic. So normally I always have this mode on, which is the dim white. Since the chandelier's LED is very bright, I'm gonna have to match it. I am so in love with this. Oh, hey, I didn't see you guys there. Just eating wing stop underneath my chandelier. Oh, light went out. Much better. So thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This, <coughs> uh, sorry about that. <laughs> This mod really complements the Rolls Royce lights and I'm really happy about it. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys hate it, let me know. If you guys love it, let me know. And that's pretty much it. Babe, what do you think? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. The chandelier, not the wing. Oh, the wing's good. Yeah, baby, I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. And don't forget, it's always better to look good than to feel good. Oh.